Well, I was on vacation, but Crab Strike had to go and break literally the entire internet last night. So here I am making a video. In this video, we're gonna talk about what the hell is going on, what Crab Strike even is, and why a null pointer D reference just took down basically the entire internet. Now, if you're new here, hi, my name is Ed. Normally I film in a studio, right now I'm in a hotel. This is Low Level Learning, a channel where I talk about cybersecurity and software security. So if you like that, or just wanna hang out with me, hit that sub button, I really appreciate it. So let's dive into like what is going on. One of the craziest things that I've seen in my entire life, my, my 10 years of offensive security research. So if you woke up this morning, you probably saw that a lot of stuff was down. Uh, a massive tech outage is causing worldwide disruptions. Here's what we know, and you'll see an airport literally covered in blue screens of death. Another one here, you can see that this is the canceled share of global flights across the entire world, peaking at about 8 a.m. this morning, Eastern time. And here in Madison Square Garden or, or Times Square, uh, you have the Macy's sign with a, please re reboot Windows, we did not recover correctly. So what actually happened is this software called CrowdStrike failed to load all across the world. So first, question number one, what is CrowdStrike? So CrowdStrike is a US security company, but they ship a product called CrowdStrike Falcon. Now what Falcon is, is Falcon is an EDR, or an endpoint detection and response piece of software. The point of the Falcon product is to effectively replace or augment security teams at a company, right? So they are able to monitor your computer, kind of like antivirus, and then detect if somebody is hacking into you. Now, the way that they have to do that is by running the code as a kernel mode driver, a .sys file. I've made previous videos about how much I hate when companies do things as kernel mode drivers, like Vanguard, for example, Riot's anti-cheat engine. But this is an example where it makes sense, because antivirus has to be at a privileged level where it can monitor your entire system. This is actually the reason why they kicked Kaspersky out of the US, because Kaspersky is an antivirus software by a Russian company that runs at the privileged level of system in, in the kernel, right? So what happened is, overnight last night, CrowdStrike pushed an update out to everybody that uses this kernel mode driver. The update was maliciously formed. So again, if you want to fix this right now, you can go and delete this file here. Anything that matches this regex, if you can boot your mode into safe mode that doesn't load drivers, you delete this file, you'll fix all of it. But this file that got shipped as an update to CrowdStrike Falcon shipped corrupted. And I don't like no one really knows how this even happened. But if you go on Twitter here, I'll open up this this file, the dot sys file that acted as an update to CrowdStrike somehow got shipped as all nulls, like literally, there was no data in this file. So it, they shipped a update to the dot sys that runs in the kernel for CrowdStrike Falcon. And it's just all this. So first of all, how did that even happen? But as a result, what actually is going on under the hood is somebody did a kernel mode dump of this program crashing. So you're able to actually instrument the kernel using WinDebug if you have another device that can get into the kernel of that computer via serial, and you're able to watch what happens when the kernel crashes, right? So I'll kind of break down what's going on here, but here in the context area, you have all of the registers of the CPU, right? Inside the CPU, there are these little super fast areas of memory uh, that have memory that or that have data that are necessary to, to do the contact the execution of the CPU. If you look at instructor register R8 here, you'll see it kind of has like this magic 9C value. And you'll see the offending instruction is, this is instruction here, move the data at the D word pointer R8 into R9D. If you look at R8, this is a null pointer D reference. And I know you're probably thinking, wait, R8 isn't actually null, it's 9C. Right, what they probably have is a structure that lives at the null pointer and they're offsetting into it 9C to get like some member of that structure, right? So what's going on here is something about this update file, because it's all zero, the main CrowdStrike driver was loading it trying to dereference a pointer that lives in this file. Shocking, the pointer is null, and that was crashing devices all around the world. So wait a minute, hold on. Why can't we just go in and turn off the CrowdStrike driver? Why is this crashing when the computers are turning on? Why are we getting a recovery mode uh, requirement? Well, the issue is that any driver that loads as an antivirus, right, starts as a boot start driver. Now, what boot start means is that literally it tells the Windows operating system, your system now needs this driver to turn on. It needs this driver to become secure and to boot into a normal state. So the boot start driver will literally load first in the chain 
as the operating system is coming up to start, right? So because of that, it's trying to load the CrowdStrike driver with that update file at boot. It tries to load that update file. The null pointer dereference happens and your computer blue screens at recovery. Truly, truly insane. This is why I have such a huge issue with companies that write code that lives at the kernel level. It's necessary for certain things. I think antivirus is one of the very few places where you do need it to live at the kernel level. And in particular, if you're doing a piece of software like CrowdStrike Falcon, where I can't even say that, uh, where it's doing EDR, right? Where it's sitting there trying to act as a sentinel in your network and making sure no one's hacking you. It needs that level of privilege, I think, to watch over your system. But at the same time, the problem is then if a company gets it wrong, things like this happen. And luckily, well, not luckily for the world, but what happened here is that there's just a null pointer dereference, right? This went as poorly as it could have gone. And this happened all around the world. But what if this was instead of a null pointer dereference, what if it was a vulnerability in the kernel mode driver, right? Like what if this was a buffer overflow in a network component that it scanned the traffic on your CPU? Now, all across the world, a malicious actor could get into remotely the system at, at kernel mode, right? So it's, it's a weird era of computing where, you know, uh, we're kind of dependent on these companies and when they get it wrong, the whole world collapses. Kind of makes you think. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, and then go check out this video about something I think you'll find just as interesting. And with all that being said, back to vacation. Thanks, CrowdStrike, for uh, taking me off of my vacation. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.